post is something where you you can be brutal because it's with love. <laughs> it never occurs to me that anyone might have actual ill feelings towards me, which is, I'm sure, not true, but a great way to live. Courtney, uh, what the hell happened to you? Your career dried up faster than Sarah Silverman's pussy around guys who can't help her in the business. We were in the car together, and he was talking about doing the Flavor Flav roast, and we just started kind of riffing on it, and I think that's when it kind of occurred to him that, like, oh, hey, I think we could be good at that together and the first joke we kind of wrote was ice tea you fucking fossil you're so old the first thing you bought with your record deal money was your freedom and when ice tea threw his head back and applauded about that particular joke i think everybody kind of knew like oh this is okay i've never roasted an oily cadaver before you're like a turd with teeth look at yourself i don't try so much to be funny as i just try to make people uncomfortable and Ideally, raise a lot of ugly truths and try not to shit myself. If I can get two out of three, I feel pretty good about that. So our team, our comedy duo, yeah. we're a duo. Have fun. While we're talking, I'm still posing for a fucking, I'm posing for a still shot, like a douchebag. I'm what am I, a fucking ninety-year-old man? Hey, it's you. Hey, right. Hey. So the first time I, I was on the roast, I kind of, you know, the, the, to me, my audience was Greg. Like, if I could make him laugh, that's all that mattered. I think those roasts really did help focus him, like, on, like, on, on what he was good at, which is just, like, cutting really, really funny, dirty, yet clever jokes. I saw this woman the other day, she had glitter on her chest. Glitter! And she catches me glancing over, and she's like... You have shiny shit on your tits! Were you hoping to divert attention? That's not a great strategy. You know, why don't you hire a marching band to walk around you with neon titty signs? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I'm up here. Look me in the eyes. Nothing but heartbreaking now, you know, loving, adoring, respectful um, feelings for him. But I, there's also, there's like a part of me that just is like, what the fuck? I really do miss his, uh, you know, just just knowing that he's there and that I could call him. You know, like, I just saw something and I really want to tell Greg. He'll think this is hilarious. And, you know, there's nobody there on the other end of the phone. Any young comics coming up, that's where you should try to get to. To try to be that real on stage and have observations so acute and so original, that's what you should strive to be. India and Pakistan have nuclear weapons. How, how did they get nuclear weapons? They're, 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 those are dirt poor countries. Their armies don't even have matching uniforms, for Christ's sake. You know, they go to war, they gotta call each other up. Where's something tough looking? <laughs>